Good morning, I'm Roberta Eaton Cheadle, and this morning I'm sharing my review of Dead of Winter Journey 7 Revenant Paths by Tegan Riordane Genevieve. Oh my, this journey starts with such a bang. Haldus remembers how she came to be all alone, bound to a beautiful and magical but excruciatingly lonely building. The flaws that marred the society of the Dea Martyrs come out and we see various characters presented as they were at the height of their power. No structure administered by human beings can ever be perfect, but the society does manage to save that which is most important to them, even if the outcome isn't exactly as hoped and expected. Aron's status as a night walker becomes clearer and his intentions towards the Dea Martyrs is revealed. Through the world of dreams, Emlyn enters a different part of the realm of the dead and discovers who the young man with the silver hair is. She learns a bit of his backstory and motivations. His limitations are clearly stated. But he, does not, but he does offer to try and help Emlyn and the other travellers out of their difficult situation trapped in the world of the dead. He is not able to guarantee success and Emlyn is sent back to her friends with a message for them to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. A little more is revealed about Burbhan's strengths and weaknesses as well as Emlyn's own concerns for her future. As circumstances and situations unravel, Emlyn continues to learn who she can count on the most within the group. This is one of the most exciting journeys in the series to date, and the story moves along at a rapid rate. And now, a short reading from Journey 7, Revenant Pass. Chapter 2, Greyness. Silence descended. Each person looked from one to another, and another. Everyone searched for a facial expression, a gesture or a word that would deny what they all knew to be true. Emlyn looked at the grey emptiness beyond the door, the realm of the dead. How can it be death to go out there, she asked, turning to face Burbhan. I walked outside in the realm of the dead when I escaped from Alder Poil and his men. I've been outdoors in the ghostly realm at other times too. Perhaps for you, Emlyn, with your gift, it would be different. However, you did not step into the grey emptiness of those times, did you? The woman in green asked. Emlyn shook her head that she had not. Though she had seen greyness beyond windows, it was not so profound as what surrounded the Cranog. During the time she had been outdoors in the ghostly realm, she had not seen it at all. She wondered what the difference might be. Also, in those instances where you were outside, you remained within a single time, Boapan continued. This place is from a time when the land was different. The lake was much larger then. Now it occupies more than one time. It is simultaneously in two different times. The redhead paused to let that idea be absorbed. I don't think the woman, Bethok, the queen, crossed from the ghostly realm. Rather, the veil parted around this entire island. I think the complexity of time is what makes this different, she added. And that concludes my review and the short reading from Journey 7 of Dead of Winter, Renovant Pass.